Hello and welcome back to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting here after Carlisle have drawn 2-2 at St Mirren. Welcome back. It's the start of a brand new season. You know, I haven't been recording videos for the earlier pre-season games against the non-league teams, but first pre-season outing against a half-decent team and a, and a half-decent performance to show from it, I think. I'll quickly go over the rest of them. Uh, starting off at Penrith, the only pre-season game this far that I've missed. Um, you know, very convincing win there. Not really too much you can say about it. I remember beating them, I think was it 9 or 10 nil um, a few years ago when Zach Clough scored about four, um, which taught me the very valuable lesson that pre-season games aren't a reflection on the <laughs> how good the season's going to be. You know, we all thought we were going to win the league that year and we all know how it went. Um, but, you know, a similarly dominant performance this time around. Um, a win at Kendall... You know, Kendall really surprised me. I, I travelled down there. It's the first time I've been to that ground. Um, but yeah, a decent performance from us, I, I think. It wasn't as dominant as I've, I've liked it to be, but, you know, Kendall played well. Kendall really positive, positively surprised me, followed by the weird, weird game um, at Work It and Reds, which I also went to. Um, Work It and... I've seen a lot of Work It and Reds uh, over the... Um, the last few years I've been going there, usually when Carlisle aren't playing, I've been to a good few games and I've been there every single time Carlisle have played them uh, over the last three or four years. Uh, and I can honestly say that's probably the worst work it in team I've seen in a while, despite managing to hold us to a nil-nil draw. I can't imagine what the possession stats must have been for that game if it was a league match. Um, because we were just absolutely all over them and I felt a little bit sorry for the Reds because usually when we go there, usually they put up a, a, you know, a, a good bit of a fight. You could argue they had the best chance of the game when Aaron Hayden misplaced a back pass, but they didn't really create anything for themselves, and I was a little bit disappointed by them. And for Carlisle, yeah, we didn't score, but we, we, you know, which should should be um, a big thing. But we were just pretty much passing it around the edge of their box for the entire game, and it was a bit just like watching them train. They were just trying things out, trying little different passing movements, and not really worrying about them because they didn't pose much of a threat at the other end. So. Um, yeah, I'd like to see us score that game, but that was the last game leading up to this one. Uh, a 2-2 two -two draw at St Mirren. You know, that this is a team that are going to be playing in Europe in less than a week's time, you've got to keep in mind. Um, and to come out feeling a little bit disappointed with a 2-2 two -two draw, and look, pre-season games don't mean anything, so results don't matter. But um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed when we went 2-1 down. Uh, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't celebrate like mad when we uh, scored from that corner um, one of my favourite moments of the game was in the lead up to that goal from the corner the, um, Tyrell Thomas did score one of the new signings um, was <laughs> two of the youth the um, the youth p players standing on the goalkeeper's toes I was right behind the goal I think it was um, is it Do O'Donoghue and Allen I, you know one one of them didn't have a name on the back of the other and you know you, you don't stop and read Um but yeah, two um, academy products that have been getting game time in this preseason, just standing on the goalkeeper's toes, absolutely winding him up, and then gloating when they scored, you know. And and their keeper went mental. He was so so mad <laughs> just to see him get wound up, to see them two get in his head like that. It would be a worry if I was a St Mirren fan because look, all he needed to do is is not react or you know just push because he was pushing them away which is fine but when you react emotionally to something like that especially in a pre-season game it doesn't come across well and then to concede immediately from that corner you know it was it was a good moment for the for our lads but that goalkeeper really had a bit of a stinker there um but yeah a very good goal to start off with a bit of a one-two between charlie wake and harrison neal uh, surprisingly though Harrison Neal was the one out of the two that scored in a you know a very good finish it was at the other end from the Carlisle supporters so I didn't exactly have the best view of it um, but decent goal decent goal looking back um, the corner we concede from a corner then we score our own you know it was just a well, well rounded decent game and I think one of the big takeaways from that is a l one of our issues last season was our lack of height I feel and just look at that back line today. Um, I'd argue John Mellish was will probably come in at that starting lineup when he's back from uh, whatever family matter he had to attend to. Um, and Harper will probably come in at left back. But what we've got there, 
the, the starting lineup for this one was Davis on the right, uh, Hayden, Thomas, Lavelle, and Charles uh, filling in the left back. Um, what you've got there, and what we seem to be doing, is having a really big physical back three with two very attacking wing backs that can put crosses in. Now that'll be even more, you know, improved when we get Harper back instead of Taylor, because you know, as much as I like Charters, he's not a left back. He should really be playing in that midfield three. Uh, not to say he did anything wrong. I actually think he had a really good game at left back when he was on the pitch. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very encouraged by that back line. Harry Lewis st- still raises some questions for for me. I think Gabriel Breeze. Just watching them warm up, Gabriel Breeze for me just looks a bit better than Harry Lewis and uh, you know is the only one that hasn't really been proved to be a bit fragile especially from last year he was the only one of our, out of our about four keepers that played for us last year that didn't really make any massive howling mistakes uh, granted he didn't have as much game time as the rest but when he did play he really impressed um, but regardless Harry Lewis will probably be the starting goalkeeper next year um, so what it's probably going to be is Harry Lewis Harper and Davis on the wings with Mellish, Thomas and Hayden. And I've I, I kind of erased it from my mind because of the way Hayden left Carlisle. But I'm really rediscovering how much of a quality player he, he is. He's absolutely immense in the air. He's ridiculously quick for his size. Um, he's just a perfect League 2 centre-back. And I, I think... He is one of the best signings we'll make this season, especially on a free. You know, Wrexham fans, you know, his legacy at Wrexham will be tainted by the fact he was injured for most of last season. But if we can keep him fit, and look, he wasn't really an injury prone player when we had him the first time round. I'm hoping that it's an instance of one long term injury and not a number of smaller niggling injuries that affect him for the rest of his career like you know a lot of players can get I hope that's the injury problems behind him for Hayden now and we've now got a sturdy reliable centre back alongside Thomas who looks just as good you know when we talk about Aaron Hayden's aerial presence in the box in on set pieces it's Tyrell Thomas who's been scoring the corners and he's you know he's, he's impressing with it he's really impressed me I, I kind of wasn't sure when we signed him because look as good a reputation as he seemed to have when he came to Carlisle, he reminded me a lot of the Sam Lavelle signing. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully that's different, because Sam Lavelle really kind of didn't impress last year, really. Um, it, it'll be weird to see what happens with Sam Lavelle this season, whether he will go start in that starting back line. Because, you know, John Mellish isn't small, but it's a very physically imposing back line if you come against Lavelle, Hayden and Thomas. You know, that that's hard to, very hard to come up against um but yeah it, it was just a decent showing from us um a decent warm up for St Mirren I think some of their you know counter attacking player impressed me I think I, ca- I can't remember the name of the guy on the, on the uh, one of the wings I've never seen a cross like it you know both of their goals came from crosses into the box and they're very good at getting crosses into the box maybe it's something we need to improve on stopping those crosses but it just looked like quality delivery into the box from them and they did impress me in that regard but some of our little passages of play some of our passing game today um, the defensive work from that back three you know impressed me and I think we're in for a good season I, I know you can't judge too much of pre-season games but I'm, I'm, I'm only human and uh, every football fan catches themselves getting a little bit too excited based off a pre-season performance. Um, but yeah, we go into some very uh, difficult games now. I think we've got uh, Stockport who will be difficult. Kate Ted who, uh, you know, one of the weirdest stories in football being denied a place in the playoffs last season despite finishing, what was it, like third or fourth they finished in the end. Um, so, uh, you know, a team that'll be out for blood, a very angry team at the minute, <laughs> coming off that. Um, and then Rochdale, who, um, it's a, it's sad to see where they've ended up now, because I remember one of my first, not one of my first, but, you know, a very memorable game was going away to Rochdale when they were in the league above us, and, you know, Jack Bridge scored a penalty, I think. Uh, we lost 2-1. Um, and it was, you know, they were miles ahead of us that day. And to see them now be what two leagues below us now you know 
it, it's it's sad to see the way they're going as a club, but it, you know it'll be good to see them to see us play against them, anyways, uh, with the tables turned in that regard. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, it's the start of a new season. You know, expect videos coming up. I, I I should be all going. You know, all being well, going to the next few friendly games and going to the game starting the season. So. Expect videos uh, coming up very, very uh, shortly. Yeah, we're, we're officially back. <laughs> and it's good to see. Uh, it's the start of a new season that will hopefully bring a lot more positivity, positivity than last year. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And in a bit.